understand, Dr. Mayu. If you need my help, you have my card. Dr. Mayhew! Marvin? It's Brad for Lewis and Carrie Downs from the Visionary Fund. We received your application. Do you have a minute? Oh, great. Pretty people. Who did you say you are again? The Visionary Fund. We're a small foundation that funds cutting edge pollution research. Climate science, transportation, alternative fuels. We reviewed your application. The work you're doing on the hydrogen engine, it's exactly what we're looking for. Your research is not getting the attention it deserves. Well, no shit, Suit. If anyone's gonna solve the hydrogen emissions problem, it's going to be me. That's right, Marvin. And we can help. You're familiar with my research? Yes. We understand how hard it was for you to get funding after that incident, after you left the university. Okay, that was a witch hunt. Euphemisms aside, I Don't even worry about that. We are here to provide you with the seed capital that you need to put yourself on the map. Just start thinking about all the things you could do with an influx of cash. Maybe get a new lab. Some new equipment. Oh, I'm not gonna let you interfere with my research. Oh, Marvin, we wouldn't dream of that. We're not the scientists. We simply connect you to donors who want to see change in the world. Am I gonna have to wear a tie? Marvin Mayhew, CEO of Hydrox, announced today they are very close to solving their emissions issue with their hydrogen engine. Keep it up, Dr. Mayhew. Keep those oil companies on the run. I'm Robin Marlowe, and while I'm never right, I'm never wrong. Can you tell me again why I'm trying to explain hydrogen physics to eight-year-olds? Marvin, we are trying to build up your profile as the voice of hydrogen propulsion. These press events are all part of the process of building you up and getting you known and gaining valuable grassroots support, am I right? The images of you explaining to kids how your ideas will change the world and dear you to the public, and more importantly, opinion leaders. Can you just please stop? You know it's gonna go way over their heads, right? Wasn't well, it Albert Einstein who said any good idea could be explained to children? Actually, Einstein said that if you can't explain it to a six-year-old, you don't understand it yourself, and that's why his hair went gray. And Marvin, you missed the point. The point is, I don't know how to explain it to children. How about this? A fuel cell is a bit like a rechargeable battery. Except that it involves a chemical reaction that produces electricity as a byproduct. I mean, it's, it's simple. I, it, it's simple. You, you understand what I'm well, talking about, right? Better than last week. Hydrox Corporation receives a $500 million grant from the Department of Transportation. Of course, this gets conservative think tanks saying that we're wasting taxpayer dollars on alternative fuels. Robert Thames came out and mentioned that he could drive his 1976 Camaro around the planet 12 times and not burn as much money as the Hydrox Group does in a month. Obviously, he's unaware of our oil shortage. Though the fact that he drives a 1976 Camaro suggests that his methods are somewhat old school in dealing with shortages. Lay off, people. Let the scientists do their work. I'm Robin Marlowe, and while I'm never right, I'm never wrong. So just be calm. Be yourself, and you'll be fine. You're the standard bearer for hydrogen engines. The world and the right-wing congressmen need to know how important it is to have federal funding. All right, is everybody good? Thanks. Yeah, no. You did remember to fix all the problems with the scrubbers, right? And that's why we need funding for alternative fuels. Dr. Mayhew. Mr. Mayhew. Mr. Mayhew. Hey, hey, hey. One at a time. Okay. One at a time. Are you confident Congress will increase funding for alternative fuels? 
Well, we're all on the same page that solutions need to be found. And I am confident that Congress will do the right thing. Whether that has anything to do with what I did, I'll just say that's unlikely. I can tell you that it is clear that Chairman Riley and Ranking Member Jones are very competent and will do what needs to be done. Dr. Mayhew, isn't it true that your own research suggests that the emission problem still exists and that your work has only begun to scratch the surface of the challenges? Well, who told you that? Is it or is it not the case that you falsified your data so you could get your second round of funding from the Department of Transportation? Oh, God. That's not the whole story. You don't understand. We are this close to marketing a vehicle that does not run on gasoline. Are you really? If you're falsifying data this late in the game? You people have no idea how important my research is to humanity. You're a bunch of idiots and I'm not going to answer any. So, as you can see, we successfully completed our pilot project. By carefully selecting a candidate, raising his profile and creating a high pressure environment, we successfully set back the hydrogen car movement several years by doing nothing other than helping. This is excellent. Have you begun identifying additional candidates? We've identified multiple candidates in each sector who meet the criteria. Project Helping Hand is ready to proceed. Well then, let's begin. May have falsified data related to global temperatures. Meanwhile, researchers at CRU deny any wrong. Days after former Vice President Al Gore received an Oscar for his documentary, An Inconvenient Truth, it was revealed that Gore's own house had an enormous carbon footprint. Declared bankruptcy today after receiving $529 million from the Department of Energy. Solyndra denied any malfeasance.